Hey everyone, this is the Bitty Zeno. This is going to be my unboxing for the Hot Toys MMS 382 Suicide Squad, the Joker public coat version. And this is the special edition, or the sideshow exclusive. So, yeah. Um, ooh, so excited for this. So excited for this. So excited. Just for anybody who posts in the comments, I already know about the staining issues for the body. I don't really care, I don't think. I, uh, the tattoo look, eh. As long as it doesn't stay in the front of the body, I'm fine. I don't care about the arms. I don't. I'll take the pictures that I want with the tattoos off. It'll be fine. But I really want to leave the coat on there. I want the purple coat version because I want the purple coat. Not because I want to untat or you know a naked tattooed body. So yeah, there we go. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this is nice. You see, we got the sideshow exclusive sticker right there. I'll take a take a good look at this box. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna bring you guys in here. Why are you jumping around for? That's weird. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, we got like the the symbols up here. We got like a heart, uh, Joker J. What is that? I can't really tell what that is. And then we got the the wings on him. The damage really stands out right there. That's nice. You got the Dead Robin tattoo right there. Oh, that's really cool. They stuck the sticker over something. Very unfortunate uh, sticker placement, but you know whatever. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got the two Harley Quinns right there. It looks really nice. Got those. I love these Suicide Squad boxes because they put so much detail into them. Purple coat version. And normally I wouldn't spend this much time on a box, but Jesus Christ. Uh, there's really nothing too terribly hidden. So I love about the tuxedo one because they have like the Batman on, on there. You didn't even see. Ooh, 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 that gesture right there. That look. I just not noticed that. That looks really cool. Okay, take it off. Oh, that green. Also, there's an eyeball. An eyeball. Are they ever gonna release his henchmen? Like they haven't even been up for pre-order yet. Like even in the nightclub version of the Joker. Like that's. Not up for pre-order yet either. And they showed those at Comic Con last year. So if we see them at Comic Con this year, maybe hopefully. Oh. Oh. Ooh, that smell. That smells very weird. Okay, it smells like straight up chemicals, like dye. actually get instructions with this one unlike my tuxedo one I and it was supposed to come with instructions I just didn't get them but you know whatever it that wasn't a complicated figure anyways oh shit I don't know where to begin this is a very very solid clamshell okay I'm gonna move my camera in a little bit just so you guys can see It's just, just for the purple coat. We will save that. We will save that. Okay. Where to begin? <laughs> oh, this the exclusive accessories and those are amazing. I love that phone. That phone looks so cool. Okay. Start taking plastic off. Come on now. Can I get these off? Not 
open it. Ugh. Hang on. So oh god, the pig came with the shoe. That is no bueno. Come on. Okay, please go back on easy. Half the time, whenever the pig comes with whatever you're trying to pick up, it's just always a bad sign. <laughs> Come on. I have I mentioned before how much I hate the plastic on the sh uh, boots, hot toys. I have in every single one of these that has plastic on the boots, specifically boots, because they are just so hard to get that plastic off. And I like to say that plastic if I can. Just in case I ever try to resell the figure, if I need to repackage it up and move or something. But yeah, whatever. Okay, make sure that one was not on. Okay, they should both be on right now. Okay, I'm gonna pan up a little bit. Let's take a good looky loo at this guy. Tattoo work is absolutely astounding. There's a little smudge or something right there on his jugular. Let's see if we can get to focus. See that like, little glitter like right there? I don't know what that is. Okay, went away. And you can see we got the single bin elbow. Oh, got these rings. These rings on the finger look really cool. Oh! That's a shame that I would be staining that, but I don't know. The purple coat just looks so good. It's just like I don't like it like this. I'd rather have the Arkham pants on here without the shirt. But I'm not about to disassemble. You know, not disassemble. I'm not about to disassemble that Arkham Asylum Joker because I fucking love that thing. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep this guy the way it's supposed to be. Is there? Okay, no app crunch whatsoever. Uh, what about the? Ooh, it's gonna be kind of hard for this guy to sit in the Arkham chair. I gotta get it to work. Oh, cool. Okay, let's go over the rest of the stuff that he comes with real quick. This is another full review. I'm on a full review. I'm off tomorrow. I'll probably do it tomorrow. So I'm going to pose and take a bunch of pictures of this guy today and tomorrow. So I'm gonna get to fill the figure when I think about it. Oh, this head sculpt is actually really nice. Easy as hell to pop off too, so you know they want you to to buy the other ones. <laughs> that is so awkward. Oh, Jesus. Jeez. <laughs> oh my god. That's, that's not creepy at all. I love this head sculpt. Oh, this is amazing. I can't wait to put this on the other ones and take a bunch of pictures. She's like, I think this this one should have like a stoic looking face, either from Arkham or the Tuxedo. But this one will work great with the Tuxedo and the Arkham one. Oh man, the teeth work. I'm popping this off. I just, oh, gee, look at the teeth work. I don't know if it's going to be able to... You know you want to. Focus. Uh, uh, uh. Look at, oh my god. Look at that. That is amazing. That's amazing. Jesus. Go ahead and make sure my body isn't stiff or anything like that. There we go. So I'd hate to have a breakage with the coat on. Okay. Now that I've messed around the figure, that's actually all the instructions. I'm doing the reverse of what I should be doing. Oopsies. Okay. Bring you guys in so you can see the instructions as I read them. And see, first one. Oops, drop the put character backdrop together as indicated in case it's disabled. Backdrop. 
tells you where all the bracelets and everything go right there. You know, that's, there you go. All the bracelets and the necklaces. Tells you, do not attempt to rotate or bend the body. I already did that. Whoops. <laughs> do not get the finger in touch with shark figure. Okay, ancestors have rosy their heat to avoid material. Damage. Don't poke at it. Okay, that's it. It's all for the instructions. Okay, so let's go ahead and assemble this guy. Let's see, should we put the bracelets on first? I think maybe we should. Well. Let's see. What else we got in here? Buttons. Oh, fuck. Well, these gotta come off either way, so let's go ahead and take those off. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh. Yeah, we'll put coat on first. Oh man, it's very... Is it gonna bleed on me at all? Ooh! Very, very, very heavy dye. Let's see if I can get it to bleed on the paper. Like if it's really as bad as people say it is, then it would transfer by squeezing. Okay, I'm not seeing any transfer there. Like, mean, granted, people left it on the figure for days at a time, but still. We'll see. It'd definitely be something to touch on the review, see how it holds up after a day, and then I'll do a follow up, see how long it takes. It's like I did with the, uh, I don't know, that's rubbing pretty tight in there. I definitely could see how that could have a uh, rub inside. Oh, that's already looking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what did I do with the instructions? I folded them up knowing I would need them again. Okay. So, this part looks a little tedious. What do we need? What do we need? We need these bracelets. Okay, so that one goes on the right hand with the watch. The skulls one goes on the left hand. Is that the other thing goes on the left hand? Yes. So put that one there. And I'm just go ahead and put the left hand on. Just to go ahead and capture. Is there a button on here? No. Okay, so that's just gonna be showing. That's okay. It's okay. And let's see, watch goes first. that and then the real metal chain okay and then we got the pop that off just to make it easier Jeez, that one's hefty. Let's see, what does it really matter which one you put on first? Yeah, I think that one. I'm looking at the order in the picture, trying to get it right. Mm, okay. Okay, this is this is this is looking awesome. Go ahead and uh there we go. pull that up. Anything else inside of here that we can attach? 
No. Okay, well, I'll just show you the rest of the accessories that comes with this. I have the, um, the pistol, which is the same one that comes with the tuxedo, the cane, same one that comes with the tuxedo. So, if you don't get the exclusive, you're getting two reused accessories and a bunch of hands. Because everything else is like material that goes on the figures and part of the costume. So, you really want to get the exclusive with this. I thought this came with a whole lot more than it actually does for $250. Ooh. Uh, he has a lot more hands though than Tuxedo. There's even one over here. So awesome. But yeah, the cell phone, that and that. Yeah, cell phone, the razor blade, and the ball peen hammer are all the exclusives. So yeah. Look at all those. Look at all those hands. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this unboxing. If you have questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the review. Yeah. Uh, be tomorrow, maybe. So yeah. See you guys then.